Hey class, Super Science Tessa here. Today we are going to be going over Empoleon as a closer. Um, it has really unique typing, really unique stats, and a really good move pool. So we're going to see how it works inside combination with other mods. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you want a better grade in class, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to see how I battle live and in GBL, check me out on twitch.tv, uh, Super Science Sensei. I battle every single day from 8 p.m. PST to approximately 8 p.m. PST. I hope to see you guys there. Um, today's team, we're going to be watching a few of my sets as we use Empoleon as a closer. It's been a few days since I've seen it, so we'll be going through together what maybe what my thought process is and how we play it. It's a very solid team where Altaria has the ability to um, put a lot of pressure on any team that doesn't have answers to Altaria. We have Shadow Hypno as our safe swap which allows us to win a, a lot, back a lot of switch or gain us shields for Alteria or Empoleon to close. And Empoleon is a good overall Mon that has a very unique place in the meta. It's a lot squishier than it is inside Ultra League, but it still has a lot of play. Uh, this team was based off of another user, uh, Bloody Bananas. His link will be down below, twitch.tv slash Bloody Bananas, who used the Alteria, Empoleon, and Mew last season to great effect. So let's get to the videos. So we start off with the worst possible lead we see with Alteria, the Bastiodon. We so we instantly swap to our safe swap, and we see that they are indeed running some type of variant of Grass Hole. Luckily for us, we do have an answer for moves against Grass types, which is going to be Fire Punch. Uh, Shadow Hypno does really well here as a safe swap because um, it can do a little bit of damage to the Bastiodon. Can always possibly threaten with Focus Blast, um, but with the uh, Fire Punch, we have. The ability to gain quite an advantage. I decide not to shield here because I know Torterra's only uh, usable move is Sand Tomb, and I know that's not going to kill me in one move. So I'm going to get to two Fire Punches here, and uh, we either win or die by them shielding or not shielding. So they decide to burn both shields, which is a great position for us. Their uh, Torterra is low. Our, both mons of ours are still very healthy, and so we're going to see what we can do with the two shield advantage. We're going in to finish off with our Alteria. We don't have to shield anything because Alteria cannot do any damage to Alteria. And we're going to get ready to swap right away when that Bastion comes in. We see what's in the back. It is the second grass, but because they have no shields, we can get to the drill peck to one-shot the Shadow Victory Bell. So this should be the Shadow Victory Bell, and then we should just get to the Hydro Cannon and kill their Bastion. So even though we had the worst possible lead, we were able to come back and uh, take the W on this first match. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Let's just see the Bastion die just because I know how... Oh, they left a little early. Ah, it happens. It's okay. Okay, second match. We have a Sableye against our Alteria. This is a relatively solid matchup for us. Um, we don't want that Sableye to be running into our Shadow Hypno because uh, due to the super effective stab ghost damage. And with our Alteria here, even though we do have access to Dazzling Gleam, we are going to be using our Sky Attack. Uh, it's going to put a lot of pressure on the Sableye. They're probably going to want to shield it because they're going to get killed by the Dragon Breath Pressure. There is a chance it might use return here, so we do shield, because the return would do damage. I don't think it was necessary, especially if they bait, and they did bait with the foul play. Um, so the thing about Sableye is he generates energy very, very quickly. So this right here is probably going to be a return. I'm not going to use two shields on Altaria, because that seems to be quite the waste. So we're going to see how much damage his return does. Alteria is a very, very bulky uh, flyer. So even though the uh, the return hits, it didn't kill us. We're able to take both shields away from the Sableye. And even though it's going to get some energy here, we should be able to farm it down with our Empoleon. So now we actually get to see Empoleon in action. We get two... Uh, waterfalls and it takes three to get to a move. They have a Cresselia, but since we are indeed steel typed, uh, the psychic, the cycle cuts aren't super effective. The best move they could throw to on us is going to be a Grass Knot, which is going to be neutral. Uh, these Hydro Cannons are definitely going to hurt, and you notice that because we have a shield, we can probably just uh, tank a move, throw our Hydro Cannon, and see what's in the back with a Hypno and a shield in the back. So let's see how well I play this out. 
they did go for the grass knot as you guys saw the grass knot doesn't kill we are forced to use a shield that kind of sucks the energy gain on cycle cut is very very fast um, hopefully we didn't throw at the same time we did not sweet so we're gonna get a few we're gonna sneak in two more waterfalls to make sure we have a little bit of excess energy on whatever comes in this way with just three more waterfalls we'll be able to throw another hydro cannon or drill peck depending on what the situation and it is a galarian stunt fist so those two snuck waterfalls allows us to get to the hydro cannon before that rock slide <gasps> Just like a fire hydrant, that Scalarian Stunfest is not happy, and we take it out at the same time. They didn't even get to see our Shadow Hypno there. GG. Okay, match three. Let's see what they have. Okay, Charm and Ice, one of the worst possible leads for Altaria. We instantly get out of there. We go to our Hypno, and we'll see what it wants to do. Luckily for us, well... Because it's Powder Snow, it gets to throw its moves a lot faster and put a lot of pressure. But because it's not Charm, it doesn't do that much fast damage to our Hypno. And so our Hypno is able to pressure it with these Fire Punches. A single Fire Punch will put it into the... Uh, from Due to the Confusion damage, will definitely put that uh, Nine Tails to the red. So they shield. Uh, we shield back because they are willing to waste the shield. We're, we are just going to mash shields with them. So we're going to take this weather ball. It's not going to kill us. We were scared of the dazzling gleam at first, but since it was so fast, we knew it was another weather ball. Ooh, they decided to go to the Politoed, and that's why we have both punches. Because, yes, Fire Punch is resisted, but Thunder Punch is super effective, and we're going to smack this Toad right in the face, making it sad and unhappy. Our Confusion is going to bring that Politoed to near death. I don't... I don't think I shield here. I think I just let my Hypno die, right? Oh, I shield and go for the farm down. Okay. Unique play by me. Uh, yeah. Poor play by me. You see that? You don't get too greedy. Um, because uh, I try to farm it down instead of throwing the move. And that's why my Hypno goes down. I Oh, my Hypno lived? What the floof? Amazing. Okay, and we're able to get to the... You know what? No, pass me. You're a pretty good battler. Pretty good battler. Uh... We are able to take a shield and we die here. The One of the best things about Empoleon is it absolutely walls Alolan Ninetales and Skarmory. Uh, these matchups are so awesome. We don't shield anything. We're just going to farm it down. They go into a Pelipper. We throw a Drill Peck because it's neutral. Chunk the Pelipper. Probably going to go back to our, our Altaria because it has no use other than that. As long as we can line this up correctly, we should take the win. And it's just an alignment battle at this point. You guys get to see this delicious, delicious uh, sky attack farm onto the Pelipper. I probably, I'm probably going to hold off. This hurricane doesn't kill. And even if it did kill, my employee can farm down from here. So I'm just going to farm it all the way so I can throw a, a sky attack onto the Alola Nine Tails, And then later finish it off with the Empoleon. Uh, this Alola Nine Tails, even if it farms me completely down, will not have the damage to kill. And it was so low that it died to the Sky Attack anyway. GG. So, the strength of Empoleon there really was shown in how it doesn't take any damage from that Alola Nine Tails, whether it's Charm or not. It can just kind of farm down and threaten with the Hydro Cannons. Okay, into the next match. Politoed into Altaria. Uh, this depends since they switch right away. I know that one has earthquake not blizzard So it's a threat to our Empoleon. It's the other way around if it has blizzard not Earthquake you're never sure which one they have but when they're willing to swap right away and not play the bait game with you You know, they don't have the move now They throw a shadow ice shield assuming they could have a shadow ball Even though I do resist the avalanche the shadow ball would put me down to red because Napoleon is very squishy inside greatly But because of look at the, how much damage we are doing with these waterfalls I'm probably gonna shield and farm it down because uh, even if it goes for avalanche it, can, it can't get to another shadow ball after this so this is probably a shadow ball we shield and farm down okay we do shield and farm down I was like pass me come on you can't you can't you can't throw this right good so we take out the frost last with just straight farming it down uh, we wait to see if they want to come back on the Politoed. We know it has Earthquake. That's why it ran away from the Altaria. We'll see what's in the back. So because it is a Water-type, we're going to throw the Neutral Drill Peck. This is going to do solid damage. And 
the Politoed. Though it can tank some moves, it's not the bulkiest, especially with that shadow effect. And we do not care. We are just going to let our Empoleon die and try to get to Drill Pecks. We see we get a little bit of lag, which does happen sometimes on stream. Um, they get to the move here. If it's not Earthquake, uh, we don't care. If it is Earthquake, oh, they're throwing Weather Ball. Okay, I don't know why they did that. Maybe they wanted to save energy. But that really doesn't make any sense because this means they're... Oh! Yeah, ah. Uh, yeah, they just wasted their last shield and they don't have any moves to hit my Altaria. Ooh! They switch to catch the move. It looks like a dragon flying. Is this their own Altaria? So let's see. We throw a drill peck. Oh, we take it low. We switch to our Altaria who we know has an energy lead. We're gonna throw the sky attack, kill it before he get to a move. And then later finish off their Politoed. And because of the zero, situ zero, zero Sealed situation, our Hypno is going to be A-OK -okay here. Okay, it does get to a move, but even if it does kill us, Shipno can farm down both this and the Politoed, so we are safe. Um, that's not going to kill us. We're going to farm it. That's a dead Altaria. It can't get to the Dragon Pulse in time. And we're just going to keep farming. Uh, Weather Ball here. Um... Probably just barely kills, I'm going to assume. That it does. And then we just farm it with confusions. The weather, A singular weather ball is not going to kill us. Even though it's a shadow, Hypno is very tanky. And we're going to take the W on this one. Let that farm down. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, just really solid play from uh, Empoleon and Altaria to win that match for us. Empoleon, as you guys saw, took huge advantages and gave us that win. As you guys notice, sometimes we have bad sets too, as you guys see, uh, multiple 2-3 sets and a and the 5-0 set that you guys saw earlier. So sometimes you aren't going to always win, and that's okay. It's just about trying to keep a positive mental attitude and press forward. So, still though, you guys notice no 1-4 sets or 0-5s. So we're going to see how well we do on this last set. Altaria, Empoleon, Hypno, pretty consistent team. Uh, very rarely gets below 2-3s. Really depends on the matchups and what we're seeing. So this is a Hypno in the lead. We're not unsure if it has Ice Punch or not, but there's always the chance. It doesn't have it. We If it did have it, it wouldn't have swapped like that. Uh, we normally can go for the Dazzling Gleam, but what we're going to try to do here is we're going to go through, through the Sky Attack to chip it out, and then we're going to switch to our Empoleon, hoping that our Empoleon can take out the Umbreon now that it's low. The thing about the Umbreon is that it's going to require three foul plays to kill us. It does gain energy very fast, but our waterfall damage does chip and our hydro cannons does pressure it. So this is going to start to, start to hurt. But as you see, we can survive too pretty well. Um, it does get very close here, but these hydro cannons are very scary. It's going to threaten the Empoleon and I think there's an Empoleon, threaten the Umbreon and uh, it will do big damage if they don't shield. It probably kills it from there. So getting the shield advantage might be really useful considering that it is a Hypno Umbreon. So we are making the assumption that our Altaria will have huge play against the Scrafty in the back. It's probably a Hypno Double Dark team, which is relatively common. And uh, if that's true, our Shadow Hypno needs to go on the Scrafty to do some damage there or act as a shield and our their own hypno they're going to double shield against our empoleon and they're going to try to farm us down which they will do <coughs> it's very close though and um i was hoping i could dragon breath it down but it wasn't enough we're going to take the move from the umbreon because the moves from hypno hurt more and umbreon isn't that strong of a hitter so that way we keep one shield uh, they go to Azumarill, so it was a bad call on our part, assuming that was Hypno. And now they go back into their Hypno. We have a shield. We don't know if they have Shadow Ball or not. And we have to respect the fact they might have it. Because now, they're at 5 Confusions. And they could have the Shadow Ball on us. We sneak an extra Confusion on top of them. We're going to have the shield. And they do bait. They do bait. We were thinking about not shielding there. But... Uh, we are able to deny them um, of sneaking in a confusion. We do get the confusion, I mean, the fire punch off on them. Uh, they're going to get to at least one more fire punch. So we throw another thunder punch in case they go for the sack swap. We can't deny the confusion there. Yeah, it's a little bad that they know both our moves, but 
they kind of know that we don't have the Shadow Ball when we don't throw it when they lack shields, right? So what we're trying to do here is get enough energy. We're going to farm this Hypno down from this point and hopefully have enough energy to kill the Azumarill with the Thunder Punch and Pressure. We're hoping to build up <coughs> to two. So we get one... Oh, they got two bubbles in there. That's pretty rough for us. We got one Thunder Punch here. We're hoping that we can get one more before our Hypno dies. Let's see if we're able to do it. And we are able to get it before the Ice Beam comes through. We do win the CMP against the Zoomerill since the Zoomerill does lose CMP to most things there. And look how low it is. We're going to switch over to absorb any move it throws because even if our Terrier dies here, the Hypno will be able to farm down because the Azumarill will not be able to get to another move since it was trying energy. So there it goes, the play rough. One bubble, two, and we get to the Sky Attack before they can bubble us down. If they bubbled us down, they would have been two or so bubbles away and they might have killed us with that uh, because we would only be able to get one confusion there. So that's amazing for us. We do take the win. Woo! Luckily for us, we played that correctly. That could have been a double dark team, and if it was, it would have been a lot easier. That Azumarill kind of put a wrench in, in things for us, but Shadow Hypno does really well against Azumarill. Okay, up to the next match. Let's see what uh, we have. We're going up against one of our friends, uh, Asish. Let's see what he has. Ooh, this is a great lead for us. Um, they go into their Umbreon. So... We stay in to try to throw a move, which is a mistake because they swapped a lot faster than the previous user with their Hypno. Um, also, we don't. the reason why we kind of take this matchup is because we know that Alola Marowak will get beat down by our Empoleon, right? So here, what we're trying to do is get to two Sky Attacks and throw the Dazzling Gleam instead. If they don't shield the Dazzling Gleam, then we can win the Zero Shield by landing a Dazzling Gleam and a Sky Attack to kill the Umbreon. It's the it's one of the only reasons we actually bring Dazzling Gleam. Because very rarely, Altera, you will use Dragon Pulse and Dazzling Gleam. And this is one of those times. Because we land the Dazzling Gleam, we survive this next foul play. And we will get to the... Um, Sky Attack, which will kill the Umbreon before its next move. Look at our HP. We are okay. Our energy is fine. And we throw the move here. We force the shield or the switch. And once again, we're not scared of the AWAC coming back in. So he lets his Umbreon fall. The AWAC comes back in. We're going to not make it to another move, but we do chip out the AWAC. He gets quite a few Fire Spins in. We're not going to go in Hypno because that's not the greatest idea. We're just going to farm down with these waterfalls. Oof. And we sneak one in. Uh, no singular move unless it's like Fire Blast. And even that, I don't think it kills us. So we were willing to tank the Shadow Bone. And they go to Azumarill. That's perfectly fine. We switch to Shipno. And we know this gives us a huge advantage since we have a Hydro Cannon stored up on Napoleon. And with that stored energy, we win CMP. They realize that they can't win from there. And so they concede. GG. Let's see the next match. Um, yeah, our opponents are playing really well. We were getting to the MMR where we were going up against a lot of people's names that we recognize or know. Um, really cool amount of sets. Okay, so Mew. Uh, we lag at the beginning, but the thing about Mew is that the most common movesets for Mew are either Flame Charge, Wild Charge, or Surf and Wild Charge. None of those moves hit our Altaria super effectively, so we just go directly for the Sky Attack to pressure the Mew. We aren't scared of a singular Wild Charge because it still takes two of them to kill us, so we're just going to keep tapping away. Um, is there an off chance the Mew will have Ice Beam? Yes. Do we take that risk? Yes. Because if it has Ice Beam, it has Ice Beam. It's okay. So it does a Surf. We resist that. We don't care because we were willing to tank a Wild Charge right there. And now we throw our second move. The Mew has to shield again or lose all of its energy. They decide to shield. So now they're down two shields to none. And they're probably going to go for the Wild Charge. I think here I am going to decide to shield. because I'm going to try to Dragon Breath the Mew down before it can get to a second Wild Charge. I could be wrong. Um... They do get to the wild charge. Um, kind of kind of a waste, but it's okay. We're just going to 
Shield and farm it down because we're mad lads. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, well, um, okay, pass me. You do that. Oh, okay, Skarmory. We have to go to Hypno because even though the better counter is Empoleon, uh, the uh, we don't want to let that Skarmory free farm too much. Uh, could have been a misplay. We'll find out. Because now that they like, we won switch, but we gave it away by switching like a weirdo, we should have probably just thrown sky attacks onto the on the Skarmory and then farmed with our Empoleon. So this was a poor play by us. We are going to do some elemental punches onto the Umbreon to weaken it and hope that our Empoleon can kill the Umbreon and the uh the Skarm. And hopefully our Altaria can do some work there onto it. As long as I can get the Empoleon for the Skarm without losing too much HP, we should be able to win with Farm Down and Waterfall uh, and uh, Waterfall Damage and Hydro Cannons. Because neither of us have a shield now. Okay, they have a move right away for our uh, Altaria. I don't think we die here. We, are, we don't die. Sweet. We get to the move, but we switch out, so now we have now we have a move starred. They try to go for a sneaky play. We know Empoleon hard walls the Skarmory. So we're just gonna farm. And try to get to two moves. Then throw a hydro cannon on this, and then throw a hydro cannon on Umbreon because we win CMP. And then throw a sky attack onto it if it's not dead by then. Ooh, they throw the Brave Bird. That's a buttload of energy. That's a really hard hitting move, but we don't die to it. We get to our two Hydro Cannons. So we're going to throw the first one to instantly destroy the Skarmory. Bye bye. <laughs> and then there's the Umbreon. We save him another Hydro Cannon. And then we should have a Sky Attack ready on our Altaria if it's not dead by now. But look at the damage on Umbreon onto that, uh, uh, on the Empoleon onto that Umbreon. Insane. We can't switch right away, so we're just going to farm. And it loses CMP, and it doesn't even—it doesn't even throw the move because it knew it needs two moves to be able to beat us there, even though it loses CMP. So we take that well, very really well played by our opponent. They knew what their win condition was. It's just that uh, we reacted well in time. Okay, here comes the next match. Let's see what our opponent has. We have Alteria into the Lapras. Oh, horrible lead! Horrible lead. We instantly switch to our safe swap. Uh, we're gonna see if this thing wants to stay and throw a surf or not. So four ice shards to a surf. So we know this is not a skull bash, and we are going to absorb that damage because we know Shipno, even though it is a shadow, is relatively bulky. They throw in their Politoed. I'm not sure if that was shadow or not. And we're gonna throw this super effective thunder punch to threaten its life. It's gonna br oh they shield and it's not shadow. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we. Because it has a Lapras, we're going to assume that it probably has Earthquake, not Blizzard. Because they already have ice damage from Lapras, right? Um, we throw a second Thunder Punch trying to get the other shield or put it to critical range. Um, see how, how much they're willing to invest. They will invest both shields onto this Toad. That's pretty cool. That puts it inside a pretty good spot. I think I should just let this go. I don't think I have shield here. Yeah, we just let it go. Good, good, good. Pass me. You scare me sometimes. Okay. So, assuming that it doesn't have Blizzard, we're just going to farm and farm and farm away. It shouldn't have Blizzard, right? It had a Lapras. It did have Blizzard! Oh, gosh. Pass me. You're smart. Big shield. Holy fluff. My gosh, that's not a second blizzard. That's just a waterfall. We're, sh we're going to be able to farm this down and uh, throw a move onto the Shadow Lapras. Holy floof. That was a scary, scary match. We go into our uh, Empoleon and they have a Toxic Croak. So this is really bad for us. <coughs> Empoleon does win against a lot of things for CMP. But it doesn't win against the Toxic Croak for CMP. And due to its squishiness, we don't even get to the move. We're going to try our best to farm this down. Right? We know this is a Sludge Bomb. And we have to throw two moves on the sh on the Lapras, hoping to kill it before it gets to kill us with the Ice Shard damage. 
Okay. So we try to throw right away, and we do deny the first ice shard. Right, we get the sky attack, and we look at this HP. That needs a little bit more dragon breath. And here was the mistake. I should have got, look at that HP. I could have gone for two sky attacks and the dragon breaths would have finished. But because we went for the play rough, we lose that match. Really poor play by me. Really well played by my opponent. What a mistake. So guys, sometimes you just got to throw the move. Sometimes risking it went a little too far. Going up against another great battler we know, Raycor, for another friend of ours. We'll see uh, how this match goes. Okay, once again, horrible, horrible lead for us. Instantly switch out to our Hypno. They instantly switch out to their Meganium. Um, this is pretty good for us. Because we can throw these Fire Punches. And though their Frenzy Plants do hurt, I'm pretty sure they don't kill us right away. I think they put us in the red, though. I think they need two moves to kill. And luckily for us, we only need two moves to kill as well. So, let's see if they... If we decide to shield, we do not shield. Does this kill us? I think this might kill us. Are we bulky enough? Yo, Hypno's a beast! That's a shadow Hypno taking that like a boss. So we're gonna shield here because they had double frenzy. <laughs> and we get that delicious, delicious fire punch. This should either take the win or their shield. They do let it go down. And we are in a rough spot because now that that stun fist is going to farm our hypno down. Ooh, that is not a good play. That is not that good for us. Okay, we do get fire punch, putting it very low. That's cool. They are going to farm us. Let's see what we do. And Poland can farm it down, but they might have too much energy. So we go. Oh! We bait the rock slide so they see the Altaria. We insta swap for Empoleon to absorb the rock slide. We we absorb that energy. And now they have enough for the earthquake. We shield here and we form down the stun fist. That was amazing. Holy crud. Past me, you actually did way better than current me can actually use my brain. Okay, they have a Deoxys, but they have two shields. Oh, rough. So this is a very scary situation. We have to take away shields or pressure this Deoxys in one way or another. And if they have too much energy or rock slides, our Alteria is dead. So I'm thinking we are probably dead this one. Oh, we die right before the second one. We have no energy. This Deoxys is going to do so much damage to us. We might lose this one. But I mean, half HP. Wait, Dragon Breath is a pretty busted move. So we'll see what we can do. Ugh, rock slide, it needs three of them to kill us. So that's two here. Can't, oh man, I'm not, I think we die before we could get to finish this off. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that is rough. Okay, yeah, we get to the move, but they still have a shield. So we take, at least we don't let him two shield flex us. Uh, the Gfist was definitely in farmable range. But that Deoxys will get to the move, and we do die there. So really, really good uh, play by my opponent. Oh, that cycle boost. So they got to the move super fast. <clears throat> That's a dead Altaria. Well played by our friend. So that ends off our set. We ended off, I think, uh, we showed you 10 different matches. Uh, the team is really nice in the fact that Altaria, against Mons that cannot play against it or are not ready for it, uh, you just tear them apart, right? You guys saw how it was like we take control of matches, farm down Marowax. Um, we could have killed the Lapras if we actually just threw our move. Um, there's a lot of plays Altaria can do. Ship note, very amazing save swap. And more importantly, that Empoleon, very, very strong. Really good typing. Hard wall turn mons like Skarmory and Alolan Ninetales. And can technically farm down a G Fist in the right situations. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Until we see you next time, class is dismissed.